following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Yes, sir. Well, good evening to all of yous, and I feel good tonight. I guess it's the weather. It's so beautiful these days. Before you know it, spring will be here. You can tell the smog is starting to turn green. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the crowd for the whole hour? All day? <laughs> well, I got out of bed early this morning, and I took a brisk five-mile walk. I didn't plan it that way. I was trying to find my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> a regular crowd. All right. You know, I know you'll all be happy to hear that last week, NBC offered me a lifetime contract, but I turned it down. I want something more permanent. <laughs> but I gotta admit, I love doing my show. <laughs> we'll get a bigger chair next year, huh? I love doing my show. My kids... No, I love doing my show. My kids watch every week, and then they go around imitating me, and Jeannie goes around washing their mouths out with soap. <laughs> Now, don't you go so go away because we have a fellow here to tell you all about our guest tonight. The Dean Martin Show, starring Gene Barry, Eddie Fisher, Herman's Hermits, Abby Lane, Corbett Monica, and Les Brown and his band of renown. Brought to you by. There's not another one can take your place Baby face My poor heart is jumping You sure have started something Baby face I'm up in heaven when I'm in your fond embrace I didn't need a shave Cause shop fell in love Baby face, oh yeah Baby face You've got the cutest little baby face There's not another one to take your place Baby face Poor heart is gentle You sure started something Baby face I'm up in heaven when I'm in a fond embrace I didn't need a show But I fell in love With your pretty Oh, pretty face Oh, yes, good luck Thanks The good thing he's going off the air They couldn't stand him too much more They couldn't stand that much No Beautiful to be real. That kid wasn't born. He must have been made by a Stradivarius. <laughs> Say, I got a sunken chair. Listen, I'll tell you, you go there. I'll tell you why. I know him. Well, I got a great show for you tonight, and I hope this is the one. <laughs> Gene Barry is here. You know, Gene Barry, he's here. I've known him for years, since way back when I was first dating my wife. My Jeannie was a manicurist in those days, you know? Every time I'd take her to a nightclub and hold her hand, she'd put my other hand in her drink. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know that's funny, you know. But, uh, it. Now, uh, Eddie Fishner is here tonight. He's... <laughs> There's no Eddie there. Fisher. Straight out, like Eddie Fisher. Just like, you know, Cleopatra. Eddie Fisher's here. <laughs> now, Eddie Fisher's here tonight, and, uh, 
He's gonna sing Butterfly Eight. Uh, no, no, no. No, will you guys hold it down? Let me do my own show, huh? Eddie Fisher is here tonight, and he's gonna sing his new hit song, Won't You Come Home, Mary Yorty? Won't you come home? <laughs> Hey, this is a great show. <laughs> uh, we, we, also have, we also have Herman's Hermits. They're here. And Corbett Monica, who's named after that street. <laughs> and <laughs> speaking of Abby Lane, <laughs> here's a real talented girl. She's beautiful, too. And I think that's swell, because if she were a boy, she wouldn't get three blocks in that dress she's wearing. I'll tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Abby Lane. Lord, and let life 
girls are beautiful. And I love their music, you know that? Oh, I yeah. know what you mean. Yeah? I could listen to it forever. Well, sit down. We'll talk about and sing about Paris. Now when love comes in and takes you for a spin. Ooh la la la. Ce magnifique. Born every night, your loved one holds you tight. Ooh la la la. Ce magnifique. But when one day your loved one gets away. But when, once more, she whispers, Shut that door. Shut that door. <laughs> si bon. Tu sais si bon. Love is said in France. Je when they filled the romance. Si you mean it, it's so good. Si bon. Ah, si si bon. So I say it to you. Like we French people do Because it's all so good Every word, every sigh, every kiss dear. Each to only one thing And it is there oh, it's, it's so good, good. Something, a word from the company that's proud to be number one, Hertz. Well, I'm going to tell you, we got a nice guest coming up. It's certainly a guy you all know. No, <laughs> well, I know him. I know him. I know him right off. I see him. Uh, he's bright in your homes many years under different names. You've enjoyed him as a Bat Masterson. You've enjoyed him as a uh, Burke's Lar. <laughs> Lar on Lar. And tonight, <laughs> you'll enjoy him as himself, Mr. Gene Barry. Sherry, you fill my cup with happiness. Sherry. You fill it up with happiness You make this life a glorious game The sound of your name Can set me aflame with gay anticipation Sherry You make me feel deliciously Merry and oh so high where champagne is overrated I am just plain intoxicated Sherry With you My darling Sherry Tell the girl how you feel Your brand of fun's unbeatable Sherry This world with tingle and sing, with tingle and sing, each morning it's spring, each morning it's spring, and I'm on a swing while robins wing around me. Sherry, you make me feel the 
<laughs> this is the one called Wizard Dorsey, you know. Hey, you've been doing a lot of traveling there. What the, yeah. hey, oh, what's with the kissing? I know her now two years. <laughs> she looked like a boy. <laughs> My heaven. Dean, in the past yeah. year, I've, uh, I've worked in Australia, Japan, Africa, England, but you know, Dean, it's so nice to be home. Oh, yes, it are. This is the place to be. It's very nice to go traveling to Paris, London, and Rome. And it's so nice to go traveling. But it's so much nicer, yes, it's so much nicer to come home. It's very nice to be put loose with just the toothbrush and comb. It's very nice. To be put loose, but your heart's not singing when you're home with wing and cross the phone. Cause it's so much nicer when you come. Now, don't you go away. <laughs> Last show and you give me directions now? <laughs> don't you go away, because we got a, ooh, a lot more show coming up with my wonderful guests, Herman's Hermits, Corbett Monikers, and Eddie Fishners. He's here. And old Abe Lane, she sang for you a minute ago. And uh, Gene Barry, he's going to come back, too. And, uh, oh, I had one other guest tonight, Phyllis Diller. Thank you. I know you all love her, but unfortunately, Phyllis won't be on the show tonight. Somebody broke into her dressing room, opened her makeup kit, and stole her sandpaper and blowtorch. <laughs> the second half of the Dean Martin Show is brought to you by... Because I'm number one. We have a. <laughs> Hi, Ken. Hi, <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Poor guy. He's still still suffering from an old injury. Yeah, it happened in the South Pacific during the last war. He got water on the knee. His canteen leaked. <laughs> All right, I'll drop a net on him in a minute. <laughs> Moonlight becomes you. It goes with your hair. You certainly know the right way to wear. <laughs> That's a pretty, that's, that's a, a, that a, song's a, very familiar. What is it? Oh, that one? <laughs> you look like a guy that sold me an old flint. Girl of my dreams, I love you. Yeah. Honest I do. You live alone. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna go to the couch. Which way is the couch? That way? That way. Are you went that way, that's where I'm going. Okay, I see. <laughs> you're beautiful when you're angry. <laughs> dare I, dare I open it? I'm afraid of Oh well, I'm gonna try. If there's a bear in here, huh? Oh, 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 oh. 
came to pick up the empty. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no, Freddie Carson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, you're out here, I hear, doing some shows. Just came out to pick up the empties. The empties? <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you gotta loosen up a little. I know, I got it. Maybe get a little drink before you went on, just no. to get you relaxed. Oh, no, I only drink before the show. <laughs> you see it. Hey, no, no, I just want to tell you that I'm, I love your show. I, I love it because Jeannie watches it every night, you know? Does and it's really? good for me because yeah. she's, uh, that stops her from going out <laughs> looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny Carson, beautiful. That, that's not empty. <laughs> that's a fill one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh, you bet your... Hiya, honey. Here's a cute little gal. You hungry? Hey, Art, it's pablum. It's great. I, I drink it all the time. Yeah, baby. Hmm? I'm going to buy a paper doll that I can call my own. A doll that other fellas cannot steal. And then them flirty, flirty guys with a flirty, flirty eyes will have to flirt with dollies that are real. Now when I come home at night, she'll be waiting. She'll be the truest doll in all the world. I'd rather have a paper doll to call my own than have a fickle-minded real life. When I come home, I shall be waiting. She'll be the truest doll in all the world. I'd rather have the people all to call my own than have a fickle-minded, real-life girl. A fickle-minded real girl. Thank you. Now we... Thank you. You know, we're sending a great big uh, surprise package of these dolls to share a wonderful charitable organization for children and uh, to the Dubnoff School in uh, North Hollywood, California, and more to the Metropolitan Children's Home in Nashville, Tennessee. You know? Okay. It is all right? All right, baby. You're okay, Blue Eyes. And now, Blue Eyes, that's what you are. Oh, boy, yeah, I'd like to hit you. And, uh, how are you? Oh. No, I gotta go straight home. <laughs> well, now, here's a group that's really exciting. One of the top recording groups in the country today, Herman's Hermits. And they're wonderful. Herman's Hermits! <laughs> Gonna run to all your little life 
You're chasing all the girls They can't resist your smile Oh, oh They long for Dandy Dandy Chatting up the ladies Tickling the fancy Pouring out your charms To meet your own demands And you turn it off at will Oh, oh They long for Dandy Knocking on the back door, climbing through the window, happy's gone away, and while the cat's away, the mice are gonna play. Uh -oh. You low down, dandy, 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 you know you're moving much too fast, and dandy. Look around you and see the people settle down And when you're old and grey you will remember what they said The two girls are too many, three's a crowd and four you're dead Oh dandy, dandy, when you gonna give up? How you feeling old now? You always will be free and you need no sympathy A bachelor you will stay And Dandy, you're all right You're all right You're all right You're all right There's a cat That kind of music, yeah, yeah. sure yeah. do, yeah. I like your song. Huh? Yeah. Don't you like it? Oh yeah, you like to sing? What? It, can't we sing together or something? The all the one six of us? <laughs> yeah, you won't mind singing with us. Six. Us. Oh, I'd love to sing with you. Hey, let's let's hit it. Now sing. Well, we got. A hot sun rolling on real raw and a brawl a brawl a zoo. A hot sun rolling on real raw and a brawl a zoo. Huh? That crazy? And you know, it was nothing, huh? I oh, know. Mr. Mer Mr. Martin, those old folk songs are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. They're what? Fan fantastic. <coughs> Fan well, I know a million of them, I do. Oh, well, if, if all of us could just do one of those songs in our style, maybe you'd sort of sing along with us, eh? Well, it's all right with me. Let's do it. Let's give it the kick. Oh, right on, eh? It's all right. Yeah, yeah. 
Ramsey Doats and little Ramsey Divey A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Ramsey Doats and Dozy Doats and little Ramsey Divey A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah If the words sound queer yeah, yeah. and funny to your ear yeah, yeah. A little bit jumbled and jivey yeah. A merzy dots and dozy dots and a little lamb the eye Yeah, 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 yeah and dozy dots and little lamb the eye A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Matter of fact, he can come on my show anytime he wants. That's because I enjoy him much, 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 much. And because you enjoy him much, much, much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Corbett, Monica. Well, it's good to be back with the Italian singer. I don't want to sound prejudiced being Italian myself, but Italians are great singers, all of them. Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Eddie Fischetti. There's a reason for that, actually. See, in Italy, there's a little town where when the baby is born, when he's one year old, learns how to sing. Because in this village, from the poorest peasant to the richest of nobility, they understand and love opera. I was there one season, they had a big fiesta. And this fellow walked out on the stage and he sang, Veste la Jew, but so bad. And yet the audience stood up and they yelled, Bravo, sing it again. And he sang it again, but worse than he sang it the first time. And they stood up, they yelled, Bravissimo, encore. He said, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your applause but I couldn't sing the same aria for the third time. The little old man in the balcony stood up and yelled down, you're gonna sing it until you learn it. <laughs> well, it's nice to be back in sunny California. Such a great little town here. I love when it rains here, everything moves. 
When you buy a house, a salesman comes with two maps. He shows you where the house is and where it might slide down. <laughs> but it's nice. The weather's so warm and things move at a slow pace, except on a freeway. Although yesterday, bumper to bumper traffic. There was a fellow walking there. Would you like a lift? He's no thanks. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> there was a guy in the car next to me mumbling. How do you like this place, huh? Tied up traffic. They're digging in the streets. The fog. The smog. I wish the city would do something about it. I said, if you don't like it, why don't you move out? He said, I can. I'm the mayor. <laughs> Hollywood, glamorous, romantic. And that's what we're missing in the world today, folks. Romance. I believe in that strongly. I remember you took out a girl, you bought a dinner, flowers, candy, wine. You took her dancing, you sent her gifts. You told her you loved her many times. Then you proposed marriage. Today, it's not like that. Today, a fellow meets a girl, three days, they're married. Instead of here comes a bride, they play stranger in paradise. <laughs> there was a couple in my neighborhood, 14 years old, couldn't wait to get married. 14 ran out and got married. They didn't know where they're going on a honeymoon and go to camp. <laughs> Whatever happened to the big weddings with the families and the friends. I remember my wedding, everybody was there. My family here, the opposing team over here. <laughs> One lady grabbed me, I didn't know who she was. She said, I went to your bar mitzvah, now you're getting married. There's a lady, I'm Italian, said, give back the gift. <laughs> and I remember walking down the aisle. And I insisted on a long aisle because I wanted more time to think it over. And as I walked, the music started to play. And I kept saying one thing to myself. Stupid. <laughs> what are you doing here? He said, I'm getting married. Why? Because I love her, that's why. And then I asked myself, how do I know I love her? Because I told her? <laughs> I lie. <laughs> but I figured if I get out of this, I gotta give back all the gifts. <laughs> and that was impossible, I already sold eight toasters. <laughs> And then my bride showed up. I never figured on that. <laughs> and as she started to walk towards me, I began to realize I've been going with her for several years. And this is the first day I noticed how much she looked like her father. <laughs> with the flowers and the music and the people, I forgot my little troubles and I took on a brand new feeling. Sick. <laughs> and as she came closer and closer, I began to wonder, how come she's in white and I'm in black? Well, that's no joke, that's an omen. That's what a bridegroom thinks about those last few minutes, you know. Has the romance been concrete? I tell you, fellas, I've learned something. Give your wife romance, she'll give it to you back a thousand times over. Because they have nothing to lose. I just found that out. I used to think like you fellas, you marry a girl, you give her your name, you support her, you buy her gifts that you own a luck stuck and barrel. It's not true, it's the other way around. They own us, they're just biding their time. I don't want to upset you fellas, you're out for an evening. But just to prove a point, take a look at your wife and say to yourself, how come I'm insured and she's not? <laughs> don't think about it too long, it'll get you right here. <laughs> I know a lot of married couples, I don't know one wife that's insured. They're having meetings we don't know about. Me, I'm insured up to here, my wife not a dime. I go to work, she says, fly, take a plane, fly. <laughs> and they never let you forget you're insured, not for a moment. Comes the end of the day, you get in bed, you put out the lights, says, are you covered? <laughs> and if you're lucky to sleep through the night, they're mad because you had a good night's rest. So he aggravates in the morning while you're having breakfast. They say things like, what do you want for dinner tonight? I said, dinner? <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning, I want to taste the egg yolk first. <laughs> she said, I got it on now, I have to defrost. <laughs> My whole life depends on how defrosting at seven o'clock in the morning. And they have a sixth sense, no matter what you have for lunch, they make it for supper. The truth of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only kidding about this whole affair. It's the way I make my living. I kid about marriage because I'm married and I'm happy. And doctors have proven that married men live longer than single men. It's absolutely foolproof that a married man lives longer than a single man. So you single fellas in the audience, if you want a slow death, <laughs> I just thought I'd pass on the news, that's all. Good night. Yeah, pal. Beautiful. Now, here, here's the new cornet coming out soon. Yeah, my daughter, Gail, uh, wrote an article telling all about 
how I am around the house. <laughs> and uh, she used Jeannie's favorite nickname for me as a title. So you all be sure to read uh, Stranger in the Night. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here he is now, the playboy of the Western world. Oh, boy. Mr. Eddie Fisher, yeah! Such a good feeling to wake up and know that somebody's heart goes wherever you go, that somebody's waiting with a sweet caress to bring you happiness. Oh, yes, it's people like you who bring sunny skies to people like me. And that's why people like me lose their hearts to people like you. Life used to be lonely, no roses in wine. But now that's all over, since you said you're mine. When somebody loves you all at once, you see how beautiful life can be Oh yes, it's people like you who make life worthwhile for people like me And that's why people like me fall in love with people like you Oh yes, it's people like you who make life worthwhile for people like me And that's why people like me fall in love Summers, I will wait for you till you're back beside me, till I'm holding you, till I hear you sigh. Time will come when all the waiting's done. The time when you return and find me here and run straight through my waiting arms. Anywhere you wander, anywhere. Thousand summers, I will wait 
Nice folks who bring you Kent cigarettes. cut my nails. I just want to say, I certainly want to, <laughs> I certainly want to thank my wonderful guest tonight, uh, Gene Barry, Eddie Fisher, he's crazy, that's it, I love him, and uh, Hermits, Hermits, Abby Lane, Corbett, and Monica, and I hope you'll all tune in next week to enjoy the talents of these fine performers. We have Phil Harris, Sally Ann Howes, the Kessler Twins, Bob uh, Melvin, and Paul Winchell. Meantime, you just keep all them cards and letters coming in, folks, and this week, I sure want to thank whoever it was who mailed me in that beehive with a hundred bees in it. But Gina says I gotta send them back. She can't sleep knowing there's a hundred bees in our house. And I told her I'm keeping them because I sleep better just knowing I got a hundred stingers waiting for me in the morning. <laughs> so you take care of yourselves and may the good Lord take a liking to you and um, everybody loves somebody sometimes. 